right, so let's get into some tech news by welcoming the one and only Clark Reed. Clark hey. Reed. Hey. Clark hey. Reed. Hey, how you guys doing? Me. We're doing good, Clark. Good. A lot, good. a lot of tech news uh, today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there uh, is. So, can we start though with something that we really wanted to be true? Wherever you want. Okay, uh, <laughs> there was a bunch of AI images that yes. came out. Um, yeah. I want to show some of them. Can I show some of them that we kind of yeah. wish were, were true? So here's one. <laughs> yeah. And here's another one. <laughs> here's another one. Uh, these are not real images of Donald Trump being arrested. <laughs> no. But where's that they were? Uh, what's the story behind these pictures? Okay. These th there are a number of uh, uh, of new systems that can use AI to uh, make fake pictures like these. These actually were done uh, using a product called Mid Journey Version Five. Um, uh, the fellow that made them did not watermark them, but he he noted that they were all you know fakes and what have you. And uh, and he just told the AI what he wanted, and it it uh, you know made these pictures up. Oh, now, so uh, by yesterday, he'd gotten two point two million views on Twitter, just on Twitter of of these pictures, which is awesome. So uh, I uh, can imagine. I mean, AI seems to. How freaked out are you about AI and what it's going to be doing, not just to our workforce? Just our somewhat, society. just somewhat. Oh, by the way, read the hat. This has to do with the or individual Trump one. Trump. Exactly. Uh, but it, uh, but AI, I mean, those pictures look yeah. amazing. Yeah. Uh, it seems like AI is just ramping up very quickly. And it, it, I feel it like is. Uh, security is going to obviously lag behind the technology. Of course. And uh, we talked today about uh, Bill Gates. Bill Gates put out a blog post yesterday uh, because of, you know, chat GPT, which Microsoft is using. And now the uh, Bard, which Google has cool. released a limited release, which I can't get because my uh, my Google mail, my Gmail is a commercial account. So I can have several emails and you can only have an individual account. So I they, they said, no, nope, come back later, you know. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to try that out when they allow it. But uh, so far, no, no dice. At any rate, Gates had apparently asked these people that built ChatGPT to uh, uh, build him, uh, you know, an AI that would uh, take the <laughs> the advanced placement biology exam. Oh. And he thought it he thought it'd take him a couple of years, right? And it took him several months. It scored fifty nine out of sixty on multiple choice and aced the open ended questions. Gates was just wow. blown away. He says, oh. he says he believes that AI now is going to be the biggest thing since the graphical user interface for computers. So it, it, yeah. it is a big deal. Uh, it, when a guy like Gates, you know, goes there, it's like, this is really a big deal. I was talking to Jason Middleton yesterday and he I said saw that and heard it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. He was saying this is industrial revolution kind of stuff. Like this I, is the next thing. I am afraid that that's correct. And again, not just talking about, you know, our business where they are, uh, they'll let, let a, a voiceover talent talk for like about five or 10 minutes, record it, play it into the AI, and then they can steal your voice and it can read any commercial or, uh, you know, read a book or whatever you might uh, say in your voice. Sounding I mean, like you, which is just weird. Freaky. It's scary. I mean, <laughs> and, is this a case of like we can, but we shouldn't? Like, what? Yeah. What is the? I know this sounds stupid. This is going to be a kind mm -hmm. of a dumb question, but why do we need this? I mean, what is it? It seems like it's just going to make us obsolete. Yeah. So you, why you, are we? You don't. This? You you don't need it. It's. Uh, I mean, it's kind of been the uh, excuse the expression wet dream of management in a lot mm -hmm. of businesses. I was around before you were born, Kim. <laughs> because I'm old. And in the 60s, it was the great dream of some general managers. This is before all of the great big companies took over radio and TV. But uh, you can only have 7 a.m. and 7 f.m. But they love the thought of automation. I, my first job was a newsman. And I did the news twice an hour and you know, all of that. But then my other job was to load tape cartridges into this clanking steam powered damned automation system it had a great huge reels on it and it played tapes of the disc jockeys so to speak and then played the commercials and it screwed up all the time this is awful but one of the disc jockeys jim olson like the guy in superman he was dead 
and they were still sending his tapes around to different stations and playing them. Hey, oh, it's wow. a wonderful day in our town today. And it's oh, like, Jim, no! you're six feet underground. What do you mean? I mean, yeah. it, and so this, this has been a dream of some people in management forever. And this but is I mean, just another what about step our in that. Jobs, though? I mean, this is the thing. And I, when I say yeah. us, I mean, human beings, if AI and somebody was saying, oh, it's yep. going to take care of a lot of the menial tasks, I think it's going to yeah. take take over more than just menial tasks oh yes it is no it's not going to just be menial tasks and that that is a, well, a can, scary it can, thing it can write code yeah. oh yes it can so yeah, you've got absolutely. high paying jobs where yeah. there's uh, developers and software engineers yeah, you have six and figure six figure income people you know that could be displaced by this uh this ai it's not just uh you know grunt workers it's a scary deal I mean, I guess you you still need one person to tell it what to do, but everybody yeah, else, yeah, you're out. Yeah, and yeah. then I don't. I mean, do you do you foresee? And I know this is looking in the crystal ball a bit, mm -hmm. but I mean, do you feel like there is going to be some sort of regulation on on this type of technology at all, or is it just um, the cat out of the bag and you can't control no, it? No, I don't. I don't think there's going to be until um, until pitchfork and torches time. Frankly, is it pitchfork and torches time? Yeah, I think until people get angry, you know, and, uh, you know, descend on like the Congress and what have you to make them, you know, say, hey, we have to have a guaranteed annual income because this is putting like half the country out of out of work. You know, we're, we're coming for you, Elon. We're going to take all your money and your stock and your cars and, you know, and burn you to the ground. Come on, guys. It's scary. The, it, it is a very scary deal. And yeah, I think that it is industrial revolution. I think that's kind of what Bill Gates was saying in his blog post in a way. It, it's a very big deal. Ugh, and it's moving Bigger than quickly. he thought it was going to be. And he's got a pretty damn big brain. So, I mean, you know. It's true. That's, but, I don't know. You're kind of freaking me out a little bit, Clark. It, it This whole thing is, is, is a bit much. And it's I, as if we're doing it to ourselves, even though we know what's happening yeah, yeah. Well, i'm freaked out guy. too i mean i i uh, filled in for a friend this morning and he and i were chatting uh you know on a video call just like now in, in between everything and uh knew i was doing traffic in his newscasts and you know we talked about this and the traffic i don't know if they could teach it to understand all that well to do traffic reports but uh, the right. newscasts they, they're already doing that to an extent they're not good. I mean, it's terrible, but you know, right. but it doesn't right. have any personality to it. Well, not only that, but it, I mean, it, it, you can teach it to write, you know, like sports stories, you know, within a format or, you know, it, kind of heavily formatted stuff, right. but uh, you can't really, it has no intuition and it, it's got, it's got no brains. It's ones and O's folks. How do you yeah. teach it to have news sense? That, that, that's important to know what well, stories are important to the people who are listening and who are, you know, there's in, in the results, audience. Jim. Okay, Kim, was it you that was talking about, or did I read this someplace? No, I, I heard it this morning. Uh, they asked the AI, okay, if three cars, you know, can drive from San Francisco to LA in, you know, seven and a half hours, how long does it take six cars? And the AI said twice as long. Oh. Because it doesn't understand the context. Right. Uh, but you you could program context, can't you? Eventually, yes. Okay. Eventually you can do that. Yes. Yeah. It's it's I don't just know. a matter of time and trouble. Absolutely. So yeah. Uh, okay, let's move on. Get out of this <laughs> yeah, depressing get, idea. Get out of this, this total downer <laughs> of a topic. <laughs> Thanks a um, lot, Mark. <laughs> let's talk a bit about Amazon. There's a couple of headlines oh, surrounding yeah. Amazon, right? Amazon is, uh, they, they released a new set of TVs today that the high dollar ones that are up to 72 inches and all that jazz with built in fire and, uh, the, the high def and everything. And they're all great. They start at four ninety nine. You can special order them today, okay. pre-order, but then they announced a new cheap line of fire TVs that start at 199 bucks and they're HD only. They aren't the, you know, uh, 4k and all that kind of thing. But uh, 199 bucks for a TV with built-in fire is a pretty damn good deal, and they're pre-orderable today, and they're uh, they're going to be available starting. Uh, when did I say? Hold on here a minute. I... You know, what May pisses 11th. Me off? May 11th. You know, yeah. what pisses me off, Clark, and I don't know if there's a solution to this that I'm just missing. Mm -hmm. I can't stream Apple TV to my. I guess it's a dumb television. Yeah. Is there a, is there a like some sort of like a, a fire stick? No, not that I know of. Uh, for Apple, right? I mean, yeah. I can't. I have no, to watch I, Apple TV. It feels like on yeah. my computer or my phone. I can't. Stream I, it I my have television. it because I had to replace my stinking TV 
two or three years ago because some third-party software that the company Samsung, it so happened, was using quit making it. And so I wasn't able to stream anything. So I had to buy a new dang TV, which made me mad. But now I, I can stream Apple and Amazon and Netflix and everything on there, which is really nice. I just uh, punch the little button and there it is. And I can watch it on the big how TV. How big of a television did you buy, Clark? I, I, it's only like a 45 incher. I, I'm in a, I'm in a, a small townhouse, which oh, I okay. like. Uh, I mean, I, I had the the house on the acre of land with the riding mower and all that, you know, and the pool. And it's like, I'm done with all that high maintenance crap. Excuse my language. Go. I'm, you know, I, we, we pay HOA fees and they come around and they blow the leaves and they rake the land, you know, and they cut the grass. It's like, I don't do any of that anymore. I'm done, man. I did my time for years. So, Hey, <laughs> well, good for you. Um, Amazon also has a palm reader in Panera. Palm which, print time. Have you done this before? Have you I have used? not done the palm. I, I've seen it and seen video of it. I have not done it. But uh, Panera Bread, which I like, which has good food, has been road testing at a couple of restaurants back in St. Louis, the uh, Amazon palm reading software, Amazon One. And uh, apparently works well enough. They're going to install it in a number of stores in the St. Louis area and then in Seattle and then they're going to eventually get to at least 20 stores this year. And oh, wow. uh, you register your palm print and you just go in, you, you know, hold your palm over the reader and it's a just walk out thing. Wow. You, you know, ever yeah. since I started, like, cause I was way behind on doing mm -hmm. the whole tap thing with the card. I always was yeah. inserting yeah. and doing all that crap. Now, ever since then, yeah. now I feel like, oh, are you just going to slip into just using your palm? Uh, yeah. What is the goal of this technology? Is it just to speed things up? Is that really just yeah. it? Yeah, it's it just a, it, it's to make it so that it, it's, as they say, it's, it's less sticky to okay. buy things. It's less sticky. There's less friction, frictionless buying. They want you to just mm -hmm. be able to, you know, load up the cart, buy junk and, and leave, which uh, some people have no problem with. Anyway, my sister was taking a friend who doesn't get around as well. She's had her knees replaced and, and uh, took her shopping. And this woman loaded up the basket, wasn't paying any attention got some fake flowers. She's going to replace all of the flower arrangements in her house, which is cool. Yeah. Gets, gets to the checkout, 150 bucks worth of fake flowers. She goes, what? Oh my God, oh. I'm not paying that. And uh, so, uh, you know, so for some people, you know, this is really going to be bad because they're going to load up the basket like this lady did. Yep, run exactly. their hand. That's the whole like for cash register stuff that you. The whole buy. idea is just that, you know, it, it's to make you forget how much stuff costs and, uh, you know, get you to spend more and you're on your merry way and uh, they've got all your money. I have a you, technical question. What yes, is it about your palm? Is it, do they put something on your palm? Is it your palm print? Like what is it, it that? No, knows? It, it, no, it reads the print and it reads the, the veins and arteries in your hand and stuff too. It, it, it's much harder to, uh, to what? fake it. Yeah, it's much harder to fake than than just a fingerprint or a handprint. So you do it, have to touch it. it. Heather was asking. Not, you have yeah, to touch it. it. Yeah, but it's not just the swirls. It's it's you know it's the underlying physiology. That's the thing that makes it so amazing. Uh, yeah. That's so weird. So yeah. what, I don't know, if, man, what if sounds... someone killed me and cut off my hand? Well, Could yeah, they well, then like, walk around paying for stuff. Yeah, well, it'd be like it'd be like the movie. <laughs> you remember the the Demolition Man? Uh, with Sly Stone, you know, where he was frozen and everything. And then they, they let him out to, you know, capture this. Yeah, I the, the guy, you know, takes out the eyeball. The eyeball the, and it goes in there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so, yeah. I mean, that's Good movie pretty, reference, Clark. Absolutely. pretty scary stuff, but that's, I mean, that kind of, in a way predicted, I hope that didn't predict this, but it could, I suppose. Um, I mean, I think that doesn't it just as with your, with your face don't mm -hmm. you have to be alive i mean just to answer yeah. not to kind yeah. of crazy but there has to yeah. be like blood flowing and stuff like that yeah so yes exactly your things would collapse in your hands so yeah. then they would and know they this is, dead. she's dead this yeah. is what apple has uh built into their to their face id is a lot of times you look at the thing and I, I find that, you know, you have to blink or move your head a little bit or something because right. it, it really goes for the eyes. Apple has admitted this, but they if you don't blink your eyes or open your eyes a little wider or something, and, and they did this purposely so that you couldn't just knock somebody out and get into their phone or kill them and get into their phone. 
Jeez Louise, it's got dark real quickly. All right. It's taking a dark turn on the Nikki Maduro show. This is is a scary segment, man. (laughs) Where are we going with this? What happens if they chop off my body parts to get to my ass? That's just him. She's watched The Last of Us, Clark, and so now she's just all for it. You know what I mean? It's the truth. And and Um, by the way, harking back to the days before you, Kim, uh, they were they were jumping people back in, in the 60s and stuff. Oh, they were. School. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I would tell her, run on short on time to tell you a really quick story from a former customer in the car business okay. who came in and really the story. My dad and I, his daughter went to a high school in, well, I'll just name it, in Wichita, Kansas. Not a terrible school. Uh, my ex-dad-in-law went there. But uh, they had the old building that was really old, and then they had a covered tunnel to the new addition because it gets cold as hell there in the wintertime and snows. And this daughter of his, and this is back in the olden days when they had dress codes, right? She's walking through the, the tunnel, and, uh, and kids were known to do this in this high school. They would pull up a girl's dress and try to pants her in, in, in the tunnel. And they did this to Bill's daughter. Mm-hmm. Wrong. Yeah. Let me tell you about our customer, Bill. Bill had taught Kung Fu for 22 years. Uh-oh. Daughter was working on a black belt. Three boys went to the hospital and two of them were just, yeah, she mopped the floor the, and he was delighted, of course. Not that she, they pulled up her dress, but she just beat the crap out of all of them. Five yeah, of that's them. why you have to teach Julia self-defense so she could beat the crap out of boys that try to pants her. And there I thought that, go. I thought that's going to be the last time those boys ever try that nonsense again in their life, man. Absolutely. She just wiped them out. Um, okay. Clark, before we let you go, I want to get into yeah, TikTok. Ma'am. Um, TikTok has a big uh, hearing tomorrow. It's CEO, yeah, I believe, yeah, is in yeah. Washington. They don't yep. want to be banned in the U.S. What is yep. the whole story surrounding this? Well, I, I think I think the whole banning thing is preposterous. I don't think they can do it. But uh, mm-hmm. he's going to announce that they now have um, 200 million users in the United States, which is way more than anybody thought. And uh, they're, they're going to fight this, and they're going to say, you can't really do this. They, they've already spent... Uh, millions of dollars moving servers, you know, out of China and into America and everything. But boy, there's a lot of support from both Republicans and Democrats. And you've seen it banned already on, on uh, federal government phones and uh, Great Britain. And in Europe, they've banned it on uh, government phones too. But, so uh, you're saying you don't think that it would even be possible to ban an app like that? Like they couldn't, I, I mean, couldn't they just do Apple and all these other app? D- yes, app of, of course they can, but. Kids can still uh, what do what they call sideload them and, you know, get them from other than the Apple App Store or the Google Store and load them onto their phones. So that uh, that's not always a way to get around that. They can they can sideload stuff and, you know, they're going to do what they want to do. Kids, it's a very popular app. They're going to want to use it and there will be workarounds just like there always are. But uh, as I said in my blog, folks, if this stuff can get through you know, TikTok to bite dance to the Chinese government, it's already there. Right. You, right. They, they've got the data. I mean, come on. I, the, the, the old geezers in Congress are just not thinking. Well, yeah, but I mean, I guess they don't need any more of it. And, and I guess the no. thing that always concerns me is how China uses TikTok versus how it's used here and what you could see. Oh, it's completely different. It's no, completely different. They're brainwashing us. It, yeah. it, it, they don't look at the same TikTok that we'd look at. And, and they're not only brainwashing, they're, they're trying to use it to uh, uh, move our politics, too, to influence, uh, you know, the political scene here. Again. We're letting it happen, Clark. Yeah, I mean, it's not good. It's, it, and, it, and here's the thing. You know, you might think, oh, my TikTok's filled with pictures <laughs> of food or me. Like, I mean, yeah. I, I use it. I just create little shorts to advertise the show because that's where the people sure. are. Yeah, and, exactly. And that's what I'm saying is my small business depends. I mean, mm-hmm. not 100 percent, but the eyeballs I get on something like TikTok, yeah, is exponentially larger than it was before without of course. TikTok. And so that has mm-hmm. to be playing a role in yeah. in how they they consider, I guess, any sort of type of mm-hmm. ban. Well, I, I don't, again, I don't see them being able to ban it, but they, they might, I mean, they're going to harumph around like politicians do, you know, and, uh, you know, we're protecting you harumph, harumph, harumph. And it's like, yeah, okay. okay. Sure That's you crazy. Are. Well, yeah. check out Clark's blog, clarkreed.me. <laughs> Clark, we love having you on. Or, or you can just go right here on Google and go to you know, Clark Reed SF. Clark Reed SF. That's even yep. easier. Yeah. Uh, 
We, we love it. We appreciate it. And we'll talk mm-hmm. next week. Okay. Thanks a lot. See you guys. Bye,